the dark blue sky, dark blue hill. There's lighter patches of like brackeny. Then you have the Ooh, lovely pink. What did I do? I went down a hole. Did you? Oh. Yeah. You said the dark blue hill. It's not dark blue. blue hill. Cut. We're out once again on a lovely warm sunny July day. I hope it's not going to be too hot. And we've come down to the Mendip Hills just south of Bristol. And we're going to do a bit of a walk here in a place called Velvet Bottom. Now I haven't got a Velvet Bottom have you? No. No. And there's another place nearby called Ubly or Ubly Warren, which is um, old lead mining uh, stuff in the Roman days and Victorian days. But first, it's a lovely church here. It's called St. Hugh's Church in Charter House. It's all by itself. The, the actual hamlet of Charter House is just down the road. So I don't know why this church is by itself. It's a lovely place. That nice church. It looks a bit Scandinavian almost, yeah, it doesn't it? Is, yeah. So, nice. just going to go down this country lane now and start going down to Velvet Bottom. What well, it is like a sort of a shallow valley, as far as I can understand, which brings you out at the top of the Cheddar Gorge, which the Mendips is known for. That will be very busy today, I think. Yeah. But we're doing this quieter place. Hopefully, there won't be too many people there. Okay, so this is the start of the Velvet Bottom Nature Reserve. There's a board here which tells you all about it, what to look out for. Any snakes? Lizards. Ooh, lizards, great. Keep a look out for them then. First gate, kissing gate. Ooh. Kissing gate. Okay. okay. So, it's a nice easy path at the moment. Whether that would change, we will see. You notice there, uh, as we're walking along, there's like a crunching sound. Yeah. And what that is, if you look, see, I've read about this. Um, the mines back there, the open cast mines for the lead, they used to get lead out of this area. And um, this is all the, what's called the slag waste. As we're walking along, you see this lovely array of colours. You have the, the deep blue of the sky, the dark green hills and leaves, then you have this lighter green bracken type stuff, then you have these lovely pink flowers. Do you notice there's lots of butterflies everywhere? Yes, it really nice. is a nature reserve. They've obviously came here because they were, it was a nature reserve. The industrial history of this site is part of what makes it so special. Velvet Bottom was mined for lead as far back as Roman times, with more recent mining by the Victorians leaving the buddle pits, which are cir circular washing pits, to separate the lead ore. Um, dams, settling beds can still be seen today also. The top end of the reserve is scheduled as an ancient monument to protect the Victorian lead workings. The high concentration of the lead in the soil prevents most plants from growing, so the flora of the site is unusual, with only specially adapted plants able to survive. Right, it's getting a little bit more rocky now. So now we're not too far from the top of the Cheddar Gorge at a place called Black Rock. And it's just a little bit more down that way. Um, I think it's going to get a bit more steeper as well, a bit more dramatic. Can I have a drink of water? It's uh, very warm now, actually. That's a hefty chunk of rock in it sticking out. Oh, 
Ooh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Um, something to do with the mine working, I imagine, but I don't know what. Right, oh, no branches. Oh. And we got to walk back up as well, yeah? Oh my <laughs> It's a good easy path now. It's getting better at work. Well, it hasn't been, been difficult, has it really? No. But I think we're very close now to the, I say top of the Cheddar Gorge, it's not really the top, it's like part of the way down. You can park your car there. There's loads of walks in there. That's where we've done our walk a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. But we didn't park there, we actually parked in the village, but you come up, up on top of the Cheddar Gorge, then you drop down across the road, and that's where this is Black Rock is. And then uh, go up the other side. We'll have to go up again, actually. Yeah. Another walk there, see? There's paths everywhere. It's really good. Nice bit of shade. So there's the signs for the gorge walk. One path goes up there, one goes down there. And I think I heard the road. I think we're not far from the road now. Oh, it's lovely and cool down here. It's more shady. Look at all the lovely moss and the ferns. It's like a jungle, isn't it? We're down now at the main road, and as already, it's half past 10 in the morning, it's getting warm, and there's a lot of people already. I think the last few weeks have been quite wet and drizzly, the last few weekends, so a lot of people will come out walking today. There's lots of people coming, there's cyclists, cars, everything coming down. All oh, right. So now, we've got to head back. So we'll see you at the top because at the, uh, the top of this uh, little gorge is the Ubley Warren or Ubley Warren where the lead mine workings, the main lead mine workings are. We'll show you that, okay? So see you at the top. Well, we're now at um, Ubley or Ubley Warren. I'll have to find out how to say it properly. I don't know how to say it. I've got a little um, board there, information board, and it says um, long before the arrival of the Roman legions in Britain, the ancient Britons had discovered lead within the Mendip Hills. It was close to the surface, making it easy to get at with hand tools. Lead mining and processing continued throughout history, with the Romans and then the Victorians reworking the site. As new techniques developed, the slag heaps could be worked again. This was truly an industrial landscape, with many workers, even children, buildings and chimneys, clouds of smoke, a light railway and horses with carts taking the lead to Bristol for sale. Lead from this area has been found as fishing weights in medieval villages on the Somerset levels. He certainly was a busy bee, wasn't he? As we walk through, all the ground is just suddenly all like really bumpy. It's really weird.
God, it's absolutely everywhere. It's a very strange landscape. It's just up and down, up and down. And down there is like a, what looks like a mini gorge. I think it's where the, the veins of lead was. Let's take a look down there then. Never like these bits going down these steep bits. Ooh. Never know when they're gonna slip. It's like a scene from one of those mythical films, isn't it? You see like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or something <laughs> yeah. like that. It's sort of place they could film, isn't it really? It is. Oh. Awkward, yeah, it's lovely, really nice scenery. That was the best gorge, I think. Well, yeah. That gorge, that was a good one, a deep one. Oh. oh, look, there's the church again. Was it St. Hugh's Church, wasn't it? In Charter yeah. House. Yeah. Nice view from here. And that's it, back to where we started. Mm -hmm.